Hey, what's up guys? Big Man Gamers coming at you with another video. But before we get into the video guys, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. And I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. You guys rock and don't you ever forget that. So with that said, let's get into the video. Microsoft Xbox Series S, an even less powerful model of the Series X, with even lower specs and stripped out features, missing the ability to play discs, with Microsoft trying to eliminate the second hand market. Just like they tried to do with their last console, but failed miserably. They charge less for the console itself, trying to trick Xbox fanboys, only to force them into paying full retail or have to sign up for their Game Pass subscription service, with no choice to buy used games. If you want to actually own a copy of a game, without the risk of a console manufacturer pulling the plug on some server somewhere at any time, but you wanted to wait for it to go down in price, a choice we've all been enjoying for decades, but you can't do that with a discless console, and you're forced to still pay top dollar even years after release. For example, I got a pre-owned copy of Resident Evil 7 off eBay recently for 10 bucks the other week, but digitally on Xbox Live, I'd have to pay 40 bucks, and then I can't even sell it on or trade it in after I've completed it. When you add this up over time, you'll be spending way more in the long run, a complete false economy, and all the Xbox all fall for it, just because Microsoft tells them to. So sad, so sad indeed. Why am I not surprised that Xbox fanboys think this is a good thing? Mood 12 Turflops, Mood Game Pass, that's all the Xbox say, that's all they ever say. Xbox fanboys just love gamers having no choice and to be charged extortionate amounts even for old ass games. Now that's what they want, just like they want every game to be an online battle royale filled with loot boxes and microtransactions. That's what they want, and if the Xbox get their way, that is what the future of gaming will be like for all of us. And I've not even touched on the power reduction of the Series S's lesser hardware, holding back the potential of multi-platform games for us PlayStation fans. It's a good thing we have so many epic exclusives that don't have to be held back by the Xboxes. Xbox has no games, but us PlayStation fans have lots of games. Sony gives us exclusives, 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 but Microsoft gives us excuses, excuses, excuses. Another Trojan horse from Microsoft, following in the footsteps of the Xbox One and Game Pass, trying to trick gamers with a false economy, only for them to come out from inside, pull down your pants, and rape you unceremoniously. And of course all the Xbox fanboys fall for it yet again. I can only imagine how sad it must be to be an Xbox fanboy in 2021. No games, underpowered hardware, and tons of loot boxes and microtransactions. But what else is new? And that's what Xbox want all gaming platforms to be like. So sad. And that's gonna do it for this video guys, let me know what you think about the Series X, and don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. Until next time guys, Big Man Gamers, out.